You're not going to make it there. You're not going to make it there. Hold up your wrestling championship. Scheduled for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Entering first from Lowell, Massachusetts, the icon living legend of Lowell, the Saturday Night Delight, Noah Cummings! You might. say this about Noah Cummings. Noah Cummings first came in and I really did not like the attitude that this man had. I didn't like the tactics that he was using, but CIA over the weeks has definitely shown him the right way to act, the right way to wrestle, the right way to be part of CIA. Are you sure about that, Chet? Yeah, I am, Right, as of right now, yes. His intensity the news, not the weather. Well, he's already got his eye on the prize, but he, really he needs to keep his eye on Noah Cummings if he wants a chance at that title. Here we go. Yeah, good old Pugles. Like so we've had Noah Cummings who's had some uh, mentoring mentoring by uh, CIA, but we also have Inferno. Inferno has definitely come into his own. I mean, you saw his his feud that he's had with uh, with Evilly. You saw the feud that he had with Eric Thorne. He just recently ended that. We haven't seen Eric Thorne since. Now, now he's got his sights set on the Pure Championship. Those two guys very similar to Caleb Manson. He's definitely ready for this. I'm sure. What was that quote? Can you even hear me over there? No, I can't. Sitting on the floor. You son of a bitch. Sorry. Well, blame Woody Star, all right? There's a shortage of cheers. There's a shortage of cheers. You can sit on Shad's lap. You won't no, mind. No, no, thank you. I, I do mind, actually. Rodenfeld kind of almost broke my leg last match. He just wrestled a match. I do not want his ass anywhere near me. Oh, it's only because he's sweaty right now. That's, only, that's, only that's it. All right. I, I mean, I can handle a dude just, you know, right. sitting on my lap. But if he says if he just had wrestled a match, I guarantee there's some swamp ass there. And the last thing I need I is my pants know. smelling like swamp ass. Yeah. You ever see Kevin Giles after a match? I mean, and by see, I mean smell. Don't be talking about my good friend Kevin Giles like that. Oh, now he's your good friend. I can't even believe you can say anything good about Kevin Giles after the the, the hatred that you I don't spewed. Even know what you're talking about? Ugh. There is zero. Oh my ah! Right in. All right, and you know what? While Gus is fl messing around with that apron, he was able to get away with that illegal move right there. Credit to fucking Noah Cummins for not being floored by that big right. Shows a chair on this kid. Close fist, not illegal. I like wrestling. Title. That's why I'm here. All right. That's why I'm the pure wrestling champ, shit. Why don't you shut the fuck up? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Huh? Keep running your mouth. Oh, I keep running my That's why he's sitting on the floor over there. That's why I can't reach him. What is your claim to fame, Buck? What kind of way to be the longest reigning pure champion in WWE history? Not for long. Oh, it is getting close. That is right. And, uh, I, what, what is, where, where is the official date? Break his record, the show before the anniversary show. Not even an anniversary, before it. The before. Before, I will tell you and then break it after the show. So basically, the week after Hellbound. Damn right. Wow. Week after Hellbound, so you have ah man, I don't know what you have scheduled for Hellbound. I don't think it's official yet. I have nothing. This is another one contender match. This is my best hope. Is one of these. These two would help out. I don't know. Boy, you better be you better be mentoring one of these guys. If they're gonna go up against Caleb. Unfortunately, there's no manager in the Pure Division. I'll find a right. way though. That's another rule of the Pure Division. We like try to make it. In the eye socket the utilized. winning is legit, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to pure championship. Shows how goddamn good I am, Shats. 
You can't fake I'll let Dan thing longer than anybody here. I mean, how many times did you actually defend the belt, Buck? I don't want to talk about it. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Freaking lot. I believe that was my seventh defense so far. How, how many forks were involved? Zero. Zero forks. Something tells me that ain't right. You made salad out of these people. Push Lyle Hayden in the face of the roll of quarters, but otherwise, no forks. <laughs> None. Roll of quarters, wow. You do what you gotta do, Shats. We're looking at a poor man's version of the Big Buck Deluxe. That sounds like something I get at McDonald's in the 90s. Speaking of people who jack my shit, stop doing the buck shot, you son of a bitch! I do it better than you. What do you got? Absolutely not! Are you sure about that? Absolutely not! What's the last time you did it? Great big body slam. That's in the freaking ring, which is forever ago. That's what I'm gonna do is tonight if you keep running your goddamn mouth. We haven't seen you doing it so long it can be declared legally dead. His name is the buck shot, alright? You can't claim something like Burno. Look at how he's looking here. He's got a shot here. Inferno is ruthless on the left leg. That's the last thing you need right now, Caleb. Yeah, Some right. guy. Honestly, I'd be terrified if you know it coming from. I mean, you got ice in my leg. Maybe you should ice your mouth. Oh, a Collins being straight up tortured there. Talking with his buddy Henry. Maybe uh, scoping out the scene. Scoping out the scene of obviously, I mean, these guys are going to be the number one contenders for the, oh. the, the pure champion. Wait, what is this? What is this move? Gus Felipe. What's his move? No comments pushed him into the Gus, right? That's friendly fire. Lateral damage. That is not what I saw, Buck. That is not what any of us well, saw. What happened? You don't have to see nothing. I didn't see nothing. But a testament to how really strong and tough Gus Felipe is. He's back on his feet. Nice showdown clothesline. That's gross. Yeah, that was disgusting. I thought my leg was gross. I've never seen a neck breaker that drove someone's foot up their own ass. If anything, it's impressive. I'm impressed by it, the fact that he kicked out somehow. Double clothesline. Close Both competitors are down. Draven doing here? Did I just beat you? I think you did. But Draven obviously he's had nothing but a sour attitude ever since Newton, ever since not winning the championship. Gross. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna have a number one contender. Oh God. Oh great. Caleb's getting in the ring now. Looking like Paul Heyman with his hat. She's the ponytail. Or like the Ultimate Warrior that one time on Raw. <laughs> <laughs> Sma King smashed with the Peyton. That was great. Do you have a portrait I can smash it with right now? It's official. Well, it's official, ladies and gentlemen. Gus Felipe said so. 
Ladies and gentlemen, because of outside interference, this match is ruled a no contest. This mean Killer Miss is not some wrestling buddy. He's gonna get a buy at Depart at uh, Hellbound. What kind of crap is this? All right, fine, fine, fine. Another fight. Fine. I'm not getting a shot at you until I get another shot at you. Just because. Oh, God, it doesn't matter. This was a number one contender match for my title. You don't get to decide who fights me. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Next week will be Drayden Phil versus Taylor Manson. Yeah. But I'm a fighting champ, Draven. Yeah. Yeah. Draven Phil, Taylor Manson, Inferno, and Noah Cummings. And I'll put my belt on against all three of you. Wow. Now that. Not even at Hellbound. Next week. Next Boys. week, ladies and gentlemen, you're getting a Hellbound caliber match next he? week on Aftermath. The, the record. He's going to pull something like that? Can't help but notice he didn't have the sack to put me in that match, Shots. If he had one ball in that sack, you would have put me in that match. I don't think he can hear you. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck the beer and chat. We have a next. We have a match next week on Aftermath. We will see, ladies and gentlemen, the pure belt be put on the line. Kayla Manson versus Draven Phil versus Noah Cummings versus Inferno. Stay with us, folks. We'll be right back.